Hey, 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 all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, what have I got in front of me today? Right, it's batteries again. Now, I did a, a video a while back about CATL batteries and them making their batteries more energy dense and cheaper. And obviously, B BYD, they're in competition with them and they come up with a, uh, the next gen Blade EV battery uh, with more range and even lower cost. So, <laughs> We like more range and we like lower cost. It's nice, right? So um, the blade batteries, they're the ones that you can bang the old nails through and nothing happens. Well, you wouldn't want to nail through your battery, but they bang a nail through and it doesn't go all funny like the other lithium type batteries. Um, and they drive trucks over it and you can still use the battery packs. So they're pretty, pretty safe. I think they don't catch fire as, you know, as, as bad as well. So they're pretty safe batteries. Um, but they've made them more energy dense and for cheaper. Now, they could, uh, I suppose, if they if they got a 60 kilowatt hour battery um, with the existing uh, blade batteries they're using, um, they could make an, a 60 kilowatt hour battery with these new ones, which were more energy dense. And that means that the battery pack would be lighter and cheaper. Or they, what they might do, because th this is the thing I don't like, <laughs> um, is they put more power in the same size battery. So they'll make it a 70 kilowatt hour battery, but it'll still be the same physical size and it'll cost more. <laughs> that they always seem to do it that way. But if they give you options of maybe a same size one, but cheaper, that'd be better. Um, so there we go. So they've made these batteries uh, better and they're coming out this year it does say they come out this year and obviously like they're competing with everybody else who's got new batteries coming out and better batteries mean better evs don't they now um when i talk about batteries i always uh, go back to the old nissan leaf um because that was like the first sort of mainstream lithium type battery sort of thing and funny enough i was out in a nissan leaf today so let's Let's link to this video of me out, out in this leaf, and I'll see you in a minute. Hey, hey, hey. all right, everybody. Now, I'm out in the Nissan leaf today. Uh, my daughter just went and bought a Nissan leaf. Uh, I took it out to Cowbridge. That's quite a nice car. I think it's a Nissan leaf, uh, top of the range. Is it Tecna, I think it is. So it's got all the bells and whistles. It's a, it's a 10 year old car. It's a 2015 car. It's done 48,000 miles. Uh, but it, it drives lovely, it still drives nice. Nothing wrong with it. I think it's got 11 bars on the old uh, battery health thing, so the battery's not too, too bad. It is the 24 kilowatt hour one, so it hasn't got a massive range, but as she said, go, not, go and take it for a drive, see what it's like, and uh, yeah, it's quite nice, it is quite nice. Um, so I'm just gonna take it for a drive up by here, just to see what it's like. And I like it. Right, okay then, there you go. So the Grouch household has got one EV, so the EV fleet is starting. <laughs> okay, now there's another story here they want to go over as well. Um, now, a lot of people say that EVs are over, nobody's investing in EVs anymore, blah, blah, blah de blah, right? You know the same old story, the same old people saying the same things over and over again, that EVs are over, and nobody's bothering to make EV, EVs anymore. But there's a new story here in the Auto Express, and it's about Skoda, and it says, Skoda will rapidly grow its range of all electric vehicles in the next few years. In the next few years. Um, it says it's got a new all electric seven seat Skoda SUV set for 2026 launch. But it does say down by here, if I can find it, um, it says it's all electric lineup currently consists of just one car, the Enyaq. Um, but the manufacturer will expand this to six models by 2026. Six models. And it does say all electric lineup, so um, I hope that's not, I hope that's just pure electric, um, but it does say that they'll have six models by 2026. So, you know, roughly, well, it all depends. Could be the end of 2026, couldn't it? So <laughs> we don't know. Um, but they are, they're investing in EVs. So, so there you go. And they'll probably be based on the, all the VW platforms. I don't know if VW's got any new platforms 
uh, or they've updated the ID3 type platforms or not, but they'll all be based on them. They're all in a sort of, uh, in the Volkswagen bra uh, you know, group with the same platforms. But there we go. So that's my waffle for today. Uh, new batteries and car manufacturers are still making EVs. <laughs> and, and look, loads of companies are still investing loads of money in battery technology, motors, all the other things that go around EVs, you know, it's all being invested in. Um, so there you go. If people want to say it's not happening, carry on. If it makes you feel better, if you go to sleep at night and it makes you have lovely dreams, then think it's not happening. It's, it, it, I don't mind. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi! -ho